Denise Suzanne from Naomi's Home Health, natural health coach here. So I wanted to update you on my kidney stone. I don't know if, if you haven't heard, I had a kidney stone seven weeks ago. I was up the coast eight hours away with my daughter who was playing uh, rep football and um, I ended up with this kidney stone. I was in pain for four days. It got so bad. I ended up going to emergency and I mean the pain was insane like so bad anyway I found out that I had a nine millimeter kidney stone so drop in the comments if you've had a kidney stone before and tell me tell me it's not the most painful thing that you've ever had in your life <laughs> it was so painful so basically they were going to blast it out but they said no you'll be right go home and I just wanted to get back home like from I was in Coffs Harbour and I needed to get back to Kayama quite a distance eight hours away so I, I tried to get I got back home and they told me when I left there that no matter what happens if it, when it comes out until it comes out you're going to have a lot of pain discomfort you're going to be you know back in emergency they gave me a lot of drugs a lot of anti-inflammatories a, a lot of stuff to take um in prevention kind of thing and yeah basically here's some information to give emergency or, or your doctor when you get in trouble again so I thought I don't want to take any of this medication and I just started looking up how to get rid of kidney stones naturally what came up was celery juice and I got a lot of people telling me in my thyroid group so I'm I'm on all pages here. I'm on Instagram and I'm on Naomi's Home Health as well as going into the thyroid group. Uh, that there's it's high in oxalates and oxalates is what causes kidney stones. In my that that did come up in my search, but at the same time, it's not caused by by that. So anyway, I I don't believe in the oxalate deal at all. Um, so. I started drinking celery juice every day. I had gone off doing all the things that I should be doing, which it, that I was doing, which was, you know, my herbal teas, celery juice. I was doing things just sporadically. Uh, I wasn't eating as good. I was still eating better than the average person, but it wasn't what my body was needing. And I was just, I just got complacent. I'd spent years and years doing this routine. And sometimes you just think, oh, I just can't and you know money comes into it. all sorts of things factors come into why you fall off the train a little bit so anyway um pomegranates apparently when you burst those little arrows they're called the seeds in your mouth that actually can help break down kidney stones lemon water herbal teas uh, nettle leaf tea um i was drinking raspberry leaf tea um lots of back into the herbal teas a lot more fruit that i wasn't eating i do eat a bit of fruit but i wasn't eating as much um and i cut down a little bit on meat because i was just eating whatever the kids wanted and it was just whatever was easy for me so anyway since the day i left the hospital i have not had one bit of discomfort pain nothing i haven't taken any of the medication and it's been seven weeks and it usually takes about 30 days to pass so I'm assuming that it's gone there is nothing you know no symptoms I, I was told you will get you'll feel like you've got a UTI you'll feel like you've got a urine, urinary tract infection um, all these sorts of things you'll feel before this comes out and it, it, because it was so big as well it's like nine millimeters long four millimeters wide you you know I'm gonna get some bleeding as well in the urine none of that didn't get any of this not a single thing because as soon as and I also did some emotional work on it so the emotional reasons behind kidney stones apparently is fear so I, I, I worked through that I did some tapping um, I did a bit of meditation I got back into my yoga um, I, I still did yoga but it wasn't as much as I was doing um, and yeah I was just I, I wrote a list of all the things I was in fear of and it was actually quite big I didn't realize some of the things that um, you know 
I was in fear of. So a lot of the time, you know, emotional things really take its toll on you and you don't even realize, you don't even know that these are the things that you're stressing about or, or whatever it is. So you know, you might not even know that you're stressing about it. It just, these things are internalized all the time. They come up and you push them down. So I stopped pushing them down, brought them to the surface and yeah, I've been, I have had one day off drinking celery juice. So I've drunk it every day and I drink, you know, a big glass of it, like close to a pint, maybe not that much, but I drink a fair bit. Um, so it's completely gone. So if oxalate, if kidney stones were caused by oxalates, I don't think that the celery juice would have broken it down. I think I would have formed more because I'm drinking it every day. Um, but there isn't anything, there's nothing. Uh, so yeah, I've done that without medical intervention. I'm not saying that you don't get medical intervention. I did seek medical advice. I, I realized that one of my fears is actually the medical system because they, they let me down so many times before when I was really unwell, they, they had no idea how to help me. They chose not to help me. They just wanted to medicate me. So I feel like I, I resisted going to get medical help because I just didn't want the pills. I didn't want them to tell me to go away. Nothing wrong with you, which is what I was told all the time. So that was a big, you know, I'm not saying that the medical system doesn't help. It actually, it really does. And it helped me a lot that day but there was no it was just like go home and and take these this medication and wait for it to pass there was no in no other information there was no you know basically you're going to be in pain for a while until it comes out and there's no way you can get it out it's just got to come out naturally by itself but I thought no I don't want to be in there I don't, I don't have time to be in this much pain and discomfort and it's freaking painful like tell me if you've had a kidney stone seriously it is freaking painful so yeah basically I feel like I've done my body the best and it I feel like it was a wake-up call for me like it was my body saying hey you've stopped doing a lot of things that you were doing that was helping you so wake up and get back into it so I'm back on you know what I was doing like I said, I was still doing things. It just, I just wasn't consistent and I just had time off, basically. <laughs> we all go through where we're just like having moments where we don't, we just don't want to get up and clean the juicer or we just don't want to get up and, you know, or at night, because at night I cut up a big thing of celery and I put it in a big container and then I just pull that out of the fridge and I just take handfuls and juice it put it back in the fridge just cutting up the celery sometimes I was like oh I freaking don't want to do this but for me I'm driven by things and I don't like pain I don't like being out of action I don't like relying on other people so for me cutting up that celery was like saving me a lot of time and energy and discomfort and it's really, really helped because I feel amazing. Not that I didn't before, but I, f I just know that there's a lot happening. You can feel it in the body. I'm definitely, you know, being more mindful of what I do, being more mindful of fears, being more mindful of, you know, having, I haven't had any coffee. Not that I am a big coffee drinker, but I'm definitely don't touch that now. So, um, all these things have been a massive wake up call for me and now they're helping me yeah back on eating all the right foods lots of vegetarian meals still eating meat but i get the good quality meat and it tastes way better i invest in just the best quality of everything i go to the farmer's market i get my organic fruits and vegetables what i can get there um yeah i just i just needed a bit of a wake up call I think and that was it just going back into my, my son calling me shit Jace get off huh? I'm on a call get off sorry <laughs> I'll call him back alright so anyway I just wanted to oh man I just wanted to go through that with you guys, give you, keep you posted on what what I was doing. Um, 
yeah i don't i don't fear oxalates i don't feel like o oxalates cause issues in the body what i feel like um those foods with that are high in oxalates do is they release toxins in the body and pathogens and they feel like it's causing us discomfort when it's actually getting rid of stuff what's inside has to come out somewhere and you're not always going to get away with it by just you know eating well and then oh i feel good you're going to get discomfort you're going to get detox symptoms you're going to get issues bloating gas some diarrhea you've got a lot of crap in your body that is formed over a long period of time and it has to go out somehow and for you to think that it's not going to come out with some form of discomfort um, is very naive. So be aware that some of the food, the foods that you should be more worried about is gluten, egg, dairy, soy, any processed food. Those are the foods. If you're going to cut anything out, cut them out first. Cut one of them out, but not bloody fruits and vegetables. They, nature is working for us, not against us. So it, you're getting discomfort because you're getting shit out of your body basically anyway i'll go into oxalates another day but i just wanted to say i don't feel that that's the case and this is how i got rid of my kidney stone so if you have a kidney stone um or you you suffer with them regularly contact me let's have a chat because um I, i've done a lot of research on this and i know exactly how to get rid of it because like I said, nothing, got nothing, not a, not a medication, nothing, all gone. And that was through what I did to help myself.